Hey guys, in this video we're going to learn how to plot Venn diagrams using Python. Um, I'm using Python 3.5 and a Kunda distribution and as you can see I have a Jupyter notebook running in front of me. Uh, the first thing we'd like to do here is to install this package called matplotlib Venn. As you can see it relies on the well-known package for plotting matplotlib and it has this uh, underscore Venn, V-E-N-N. -N. And to install a package from within uh, your Jupyter Notebook, you, you can do exclamation mark, pip install, uh, and then the package you'd like to install. So let me execute that. Shift enter to run that. Uh, it'll take a little while to install and then it should be ready to use. Okay, as you can see it's installing and then successfully uh, it's successfully installed. Very good. After successfully installing matplotlib underscore ven, we can do our um, uh, imports. We'd like to use this to make sure that uh, anything we plot gets plot on our um, uh, Jupyter notebook. So uh, percentage matplotlib space inline, and then from matplotlib ven, um, I'm sorry, I'm saying here import matplotlib underscore ven as vplt. So we're just importing matplotlib underscore ven. And then from the matplotlib library, we're importing pyplot as plt. And um, to be able to plot a Venn diagram, all we need to do is just call the methods from uh, this module. So we imported it as vplt. All we can say is, for example, v equals vplt.ven2 to draw a Venn diagram of, of two uh, subsets. And then I can define the subsets. So we're passing them here as as you can see as uh, a dictionary. The, the first subset, we're giving it IDs 1, 0, and then uh, the number of, uh, of, of elements there is 1. The second subset is 0, 1, or this you can consider this as the first circle. The second circle is 0, 1, and the number of elements is 1, and then 1, 1 is the overlap, is the overlap or the union, uh, I'm sorry, the intersection, not the union, the intersection, or the overlap between the two circles and then we set labels because we only have two subsets label A and label B and then if we if we do the imports and then shift enter to run that as you can see by default we have these colors and uh, to make things more interesting maybe we can do shift tab on the method name so we can have a look at the details as you can see we can customize the colors if we wanted we can set the alpha uh, we can customize the labels as well, uh, and th that's how we can pass the subsets. Um, we can change, for example, the number of elements here, for example, to 10, and the size will change automatically, as you will see. So the first one has 10, it's larger, the second one is 1, and then the intersection is also 1. Um, here you have a nice example. So we can actually... Uh, um, customize the patches, like get patch by ID, Notice we give we give an ID one zero here to the first one to this uh, reddish one. Then we can customize it. We can also access the label, get label by ID, and then we can set the text if we wanted. So for example, if we get the label for example A, let's change label A to label let's call it set A. If I run that, you will notice the label here will be set A not instead of just A. Okay, and you know you can customize things uh, as you wish. Another interesting function here, as our, our method, as you can see here, we have Ven2, and we'd like to have a look at if we have three sets or three subsets instead of um, two subsets. If I, if I do there matplotlib Ven, um, I'm sorry, we've imported as vplt. So if we do that, we can get a list of the method inside, as you can see, we have circles here. We can play about with that. And here we have Ven3. So I can say V equals VPLT dot Ven3. If I do shift tab on that, as you can see, we have three subsets. We have three labels. Let's get that to be larger. And then let's copy and paste that example to see what uh, a plot... Um, a Venn diagram of uh, three plot or three subsets looks like. If we run that, you can see the coloring here uh, is 
using basically the default colors. If we look here, the default colors are red, green, and blue with alpha 0 0.4. Uh, to know which subset is which, let's change the sizes. I can say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I notice we're passing them as a tuple here, 7, because we have three sub these are the three main subsets, A, B, and C, and then with the overlaps, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven areas. That's why we have these numbers, and then it'll change according to the size. So you notice number one is this, number two is this, number three uh, is this, and so on and so forth. And this is a tuple. You can also pass it as a dictionary, as we did here, and assign the labels uh, uh, automatically, okay? I hope the idea makes sense. It's quite nice and easy. Uh, you can find the code or, or, or this notebook on my GitHub uh, repository. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another tutorial.